Hello, my name is David Silver and I am the self-driving car team lead at Udacity. Self-driving cars are at an amazing moment right now where thousands of jobs are opening up and we have dozens of hiring partners who are really excited about hiring graduates out of this program onto their autonomous vehicle teams. Udacity involves project-based learning. So you'll be building projects that we've designed in conjunction with companies at the leading edge of the autonomous vehicle industry. In the first term, you'll build projects on deep learning and computer vision. For example, you'll build a behavioral cloning project where you drive a car yourself in a simulator, kind of like in a video game, and then you use data from your own driving in the simulator to train a neural network to drive that car for you. This is the type of project the cutting edge Silicon Valley startups are working on right now, and it puts you at the forefront of the deep learning and autonomous vehicle industry. You'll also build a project to detect and track vehicles in a video stream, just like real autonomous vehicles have to do out on the highway. In term two, you'll learn about sensor fusion, localization, and control. This is hardcore robotics that every self-driving car engineer needs to know in order to actuate and move the vehicle through space. In the localization module, you'll build a kidnapped vehicle project, which takes a vehicle that's lost and figures out where it is in the world with the help of sensor readings and a map. This is exactly what real self-driving cars have to do every time they turn on in order to figure out where they are in the world. In the control module, you'll build a model predictive controller, which is a really advanced type of controller that's actually how most self-driving cars move through the world and use the steering wheel throttle and brake to follow a set of waypoints or a trajectory to get from one point to the next. In term three, you'll learn about path planning, you'll have an elective month, and you'll learn about system integration. Path planning is really the brains of a self-driving car. It's how the car figures out how to get from one point to another, as well as how to react when new obstacles enter the scene. I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of how path planning works, and this is something that nobody's ever seen before, so get ready. Path planning involves three parts. There's prediction, which is figuring out what the other vehicles are going to do around us. There's behavior, which is figuring out what we want to do now that we know what the other vehicles are going to do. And there's trajectory planning, which is figuring out how to plan a trajectory to execute the maneuver that we want to choose. As part of the path planning module, you'll build a path planner that drives a vehicle in the simulator. It'll maneuver around other vehicles and traffic and get you from one point to another as quickly and safely as possible. In the advanced deep learning module, which is one option during the elective month, you'll build a semantic segmentation network. Semantic segmentation is a cutting edge topic in deep learning. This is how you take a video feed and paint each pixel in each image a different color corresponding to which class that pixel belongs to. For example, you could paint each pixel in an image as either being part of the road or not part of the road. Having this information tells us where the free space is that we can drive into. The final month of the program is system integration. This is the most exciting month in the whole program, and it's where we take all of the different pieces we've learned and we put them together, and you get to design code that actually goes on the Udacity self-driving car and see how well it runs the vehicle. We think of this as an only at Udacity opportunity, and it's a great way to stand out as you apply for jobs in the field. When hiring people for the autonomous driving team, we're looking for strong computer science skills, especially programming in C++. In addition, for prototypes, we're using MATLAB, and we are using Python for scripting and deep learning tools, respectively. When preparing for the interview, the applicants should brush up their programming skills. Secondly, they should think how their experience and education fits to the job. Some applicants are surprised to hear questions, how does an autonomous system work and so on. And people should prepare that in advance, should have an understanding what's going on in that field and also what Mercedes has already achieved in that field. We have lots of interns and we are happy to, to train people to get the right skills and get experience in the field. I think the nano degree is a great thing to get the right experience in that field. So if you have already a really solid foundation in computer science, for example, and you have successfully achieved the nano degree, you are a pretty good candidate for this. 
If you want to shape the future for autonomous cars at Mercedes-Benz, apply. We are so excited to share this program with you and we can't wait for you to get started. There are so many jobs in this field and so many employers looking for talent. Apply now and become a self-driving car engineer with Udacity.